Jessica Watson here and uh, Laos visiting some schools in the south of the country here and um, I hear you guys got a few questions so I've only got time to just answer a few of them um, and the first one which is from uh, Pepe who asked why did you choose to help hungry people um, and for me to choose to help most with hungry people and also particularly the schools here in the south of Laos was a really easy decision. Um, I'm so incredibly lucky to have had so many of my own dreams come true that it's lovely to be able to help uh, other people, other young people in other parts of the world that aren't as lucky um, so they can have meals which you know if you're thinking about where your next meal comes from you can't be working towards whatever your dream might be so it's nice to be able to help out with that and hopefully help other young people achieve their own dreams um, as well. Next question came from Michael who asked what are the best and worst things you've seen during your trip to Laos? Um, I think the worst things um, are those terrible statistics that you see, those terrible um, stories and those terrible statistics of the child malnutrition, and they call it stunting, where a child never grows up to their full physical and mental um, yeah, height and, and ability. Um, so that's quite horrible to see, quite terrible, and to see the kids, which are quite tiny often. Um, and the best bit would have to be when you do hand out those meals to them and you hand out that food and you sit down and you enjoy it with them and it kind of breaks the ice and all of a sudden the kids are really energetic and really enthusiastic and the language barrier just kind of falls apart and it's um, lovely to see the kids like that. And next question is from uh, the Sun Chaser on Twitter. Asked about um, the preparations I had to undergo for the trip. Um, I'm assuming they meant um, my trip around the world, um, but possibly the trip here to Laos, um, both of which involved lots and lots of preparation. So for around the world, I was preparing for the voyage for years. The preparation was probably a much bigger part of the voyage than sailing around the world. So I spent years and years, um, pretty much from when I was 11 and started dreaming about it, and then when I left at age 16, working towards it with a team of people, very experienced people, which has been the same here for this voyage, um, not voyage, I suppose, trip to Laos. Um, we've had a great team on the ground here in Laos and also a team back home helping um, to pull this trip together, all, uh, all of which I'm very appreciative of. Um, you know, it doesn't happen without people like these. Okay, last question on Twitter. Um, left, right, asks, how can young people be more effective in creating change? Um, I think it's really important. Um, I'm a young person. I want to be helping other young people, but I also want to see lots of other young people, um, you know, particularly back in Australia, we're incredibly lucky to have so many um, resources helping out with things like this. Um, you know, just get involved. There's millions and millions of ways for to get involved, and I think the best bit about it is that it's also a load of fun. Um, you know, I'm having a great time, and it's it's really exciting thing to be part of, and you can really see how you're making a difference. So something as small as making a donation to, you know, spreading the word through um, social media, which is pretty fun as a young person to, you know, see what happens. Take that step forward and, and get involved and see where it takes you.